going on riders? How you doing? It's Paul with a ride home review. Uh, hopefully y'all can hear me right now. Um, yep, I'm back and uh, uh, this this week we uh, I watched The Darkest Hour uh, directed by Joe Wright uh, starring Gary Oldman, Lily James, Kristen Scott Thomas, Ben Mendelsohn. Uh, before we carry on, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. So, yeah, we, we can uh, catch up on all the stuff there. Right now, as you know, I'm going through all the uh, best of uh, Ride Home Reviews awards show coming up on Saturday. Anyway, um, this movie was, uh, well, what the movie was about, it was about basically uh, Winston Churchill's... Uh, first few days in office um, when he was put in uh, as Neville Chamberlain was asked to resign or actually he just resigned and then uh, they decided that Winston Churchill should be the new Prime Minister to lead England in the shadow of Germany um, the, uh, of encroaching Germany and um, as it's as it's uh, and also um, uh, some of the what happened in the movie Dunkirk happens after what this movie is what this movie uh, is about. So, what did I like about this? First of all, uh, the makeup for Gary Oldman was absolutely outstanding. They did a great job of transforming. You know, if you didn't look at him in the eyes, uh, you wouldn't see Gary Oldman there. Um, and so they did a wonderful job at transforming Gary Oldman into who he is, into this uh, uh, dynamic historical figure uh, from England. Um, next, uh, Gary Oldman's performance. There's no wonder why he was nominated for Golden Globe and probably is going to not get nominated for an act, uh, uh, an Oscar. He was spot on. He was just uh, really, really. I mean, Gary Oldman's good. Don't get me wrong, but this was one of his finest performances. Uh, that I mean, if you're a Gary Oldman fan, you will not be disappointed. Um, he was just marvelous from beginning of the picture to the end, and just seemed like he just never broke character. It seemed like he was a completely different person, and he did a wonderful job. And in fact, the acting and the cast was just marvelous throughout this film. They there was just no drop off in talent. Um, no, uh, nobody got up stage. Nobody. I mean, even with Gary Oldman in the in the room, I mean, it was just great chemistry uh, between the the performers, and they just. Uh, I mean, it was just marvelous the way it was set up and laid out, and um, and. Uh, and so on. Uh, wh what I didn't like uh, about this film was I felt that the story was lacking. It just, uh, it just didn't have the the punch that I thought it would. Um, uh, it just didn't surprise you too much. There were a couple really good scenes that are commendable, and like I said, the 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 that performances of the actors was great. But I just felt the story was a little, eh, just not exciting, not overly uh i don't know um just not overly um unpredictable um and so so it was just kind of status quo with that and uh something to watch for um there's a lot of aerial stuff that is really cool that they do with the cameras and and looking up and looking towards the sky so check that out and and see how how that fits along with the narrative um but all in all, it's a pretty decent movie, great performances. Um, not the strongest of stories, but check it out for yourself. And remember, follow us on all the social medias, like us on Facebook, uh, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, and remember the awards, Facebook Live, Saturday. I know that's gonna be dated as soon as this video goes out. Anyway, so that's the Ride Home Review for this week, The Darkest Hour, starring Gary Oldman. So until next week, watch something cool. Talk to you later.